What's the deal? It's February 13th, 2021. In this video, we will go over my performance, uh, the stocks that I have, why I got into them. We'll also look into a couple charts. So please hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button if you enjoy this content or you learned anything here. I have three shares of Lemonade Inc., nine shares of Grow Generation, five shares of Canopy Growth, 37 shares of Sundial Growers, 103 shares of Akerna Corp, and 11 shares of Tilray. Lemonade is going to be my long-term investment now. I might most likely get back into IPR, but uh, right now this is going to be my long-term investment, my main one right now. Lemonade makes up 20.57% of my portfolio. My average price is $156.44. My total cost is $469.33. Right now its market value is $492. This is Lemonade's chart. In the past year it's up 465%. Past three months it's up 183%. Past month it's down 10.5%. Past five days it's up 13.2%. In the past day it is up 0.04%. This is the profile for Lemonade. Lemonade Inc. is a peer-to-peer -peer property and casualty insurance company. The company offers its products to renters and homeowners in the United States and contents and liability insurance in Germany and the Netherlands. The insurance it offers in the United States covers stolen or damaged property and also covers personal liability, which protect its customers if they are responsible for an accident or damage to another person or their property. It also offers landlord insurance policies to condo and co-op owners who rent out their property less than five times a year to protect their real and personal properties. The company enables homeowners and renters to get insured and settle claims from various devices through its Lemonade application. It uses bots to deliver insurance to consumers through its chatbot-driven application and at Lemonade.com. It enables consumers to chat with artificial intelligence to file. Lemonade has 54.9 million shares outstanding with a free float of 38.3 million. This is a very high growth company, so it does not pay a dividend, and I expect this company to disrupt the whole insurance sector. Okay, so Sundial Growers. I do not like this company. I just got into this stock so I can ride the hype wave. I've been in uh, different Wall Street bets uh, groups. You know, I have some on Discord. I have like three of them on Discord. Uh, I have, uh, I, I'm in like three of them on Reddit. I go through and I just see what's going on, what, what's everybody talking about. Right now, they are pumping Sundial Growers and I wanted to see if I can ride the hype wave. They're also pumping Tilray and Africa as well, like crazy. But the main one that they're pumping from the pot stocks is Sundial Growers, so I got in, but this company is horrible. I do not like it, okay? Anyway, let's look at the chart. Uh, e Salsetta, shout out to E Salsetta. What I'm seeing right here is a lot of support around the $2 mark. And we're seeing some resistance, a large amount of resistance over here by the two ten. So, if we're going into this trade on Monday, just know that right now it's been bouncing. on the support line of again two dollars and two dollars and ten cents this one's a little complicated because this is pure hype there's no there's no real there's no real news like to justify this climb this climb here there's no real news to justify it um like i said just like amc gme and knock i actually got into nokia also i didn't mention that earlier we yeah, got into nokia lost money on nokia lost money on amc which is okay uh and i made a little bit of money on on uh gamestop just like those stocks that were hyped pure hype this one's pure hype again wall street bets are these people are pumping this stock massively so i'm gonna try to ride the hype wave so again we're coming in. First of all, let's see where the trend is. First of all, let's see where the trend is. Okay, so bust out a trend line here.
Okay, we had a down trend there. Then we see uptrend. Of course, uh, people are highly expecting the legalization of cannabis. So the trend is upward for these uh, pot stocks. But as a company, I highly dislike Sundog growers. Don't expect this stock to come up back up. Up here. Just like GME fell massively, GME will not go back up for a very, 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 very long time. Probably years. Just like that, well, Sundial, the hype has diminished. And it will not be going up probably for a year. For Well, this one has a lot of... This, one, this one's weird because it has a massive... Uh, Share outstanding count, it's free flow, is 1.5 billion. So yeah, for it to move again all the way up there, it's going to take so many people on the same boat, you know, hyping the same stock for it to move up. Because these Wall Street bets groups, they're they're getting splintered. It, it wasn't, it's not the same. They don't have the same strength. They've been diluted, okay? They've been diluted. And it's just what it is. So that's what I'm seeing. That it looks like a trend reversal. It's not in my eyes. I don't see a trend reversal. I just see a short squeeze. You know the after effects, consolidation, and uh, and between this channel and this channel here, between this uh, support and resistance. I think the trend is still upward for this stock. That's why I got into it. I am hoping just to get some profit and get out ASAP. I don't know what type of scandals these guys are up to or what what scandals are going to come to these guys. But yeah, so that's Sundial. Free float, $1.5 billion. Okay. Real quick, Sundial is a cannabis company engaged in the production, distribution, and sale of cannabis for the medical and adult use market. The company produces markets premium cannabis for the adult use market and Sundial's purpose-built indoor modular grow rooms. The company produces consistent cannabis in individual and fully controlled room environments. The company's cannabis products are used as prescription medicines and to enhance social, spiritual, and recreational occasions. All righty. Tilray looks just like Sundial's chart because these stocks decided to sell off after being hyped up massively. People started taking profits, taking profits at a massive rate, and this is what happens. But in my opinion, Tilray is trending upwards. Canopy growth makes up 8.5% of my portfolio. I did first get into canopy growth on this portfolio on October 13th. And this is the chart for canopy growth. It does have 372.2 million shares outstanding with a free flow of 226 million. And uh, with Canopy Growth, you see uh, also uh, kind of like you see some hype happening, but not as much as Sundial and Tilray. Canopy Growth is a little bit more under the radar for the Wall Street bets groups.